Welcome back to the Cordless Vacuum Guide and this video will be part 2 on my series on the Shark Vertex Pro lineup, specifically the Vertex Pro Power Liftaway. Unlike most thick vacuums with a dustbin and motor near the handle, the Vertex Pro Power Liftaway has it closer to the base so the handle doesn't feel less heavy. It's not as tiring to use for long stretches because of the upright ergonomic feel compared to a traditional stick vacuum. The liftaway feature adds to its versatility since consumers can detach the bulky dustbin from the frame and clean hard-to-reach areas more efficiently. One issue with the previous model is it uses the older dual clean nozzle, which struggles with cleaning long hair strands. Another issue is a short range. This model addresses those issues with upgraded nozzle and more energy-dense battery. But the question is, are these upgrades enough to warrant the higher cost? I've put it through a grueling series of tests to find out, so let's get into it. The Shark Vertex Pro Powered Liftaway is an upgraded version of the Ion P50. Nothing much has changed regarding the product design as both use the same dustbin size and power liftaway system. But the newer version has the upgraded dual clean nozzle with the combs and fins, so it has better agitation thanks to the increased bristle surface area and the addition of the combs and fins helps it resist hair tangles better. Also, it uses a more energy-dense lithium-ion battery that runs longer than the older Ion P50, despite having the same 2900 mA rating. Perhaps the biggest benefit of the cordless powered liftaway series is the extra-large dustbin capacity at 1.35 liters, similar to the older Ion P50, which is in upright territory. Also, with the dustbin and motor placement closer to the base, it's not top-heavy at all because of the more balanced weight distribution. The liftaway feature also enables consumers to use it above floors like a handheld vacuum. You can even place a dustbin on a flat surface so it's feather light and not tiring to use even for long stretches. Unfortunately, the tools don't have a locking mechanism and are only held by friction. It comes with three additional tools, a crevice tool, an upholstery tool with a brush insert and an under appliance tool, similar to the Vertex Pro. However, there's no motorized tool, so it won't be as efficient as other brands with cleaning fabric upholstery. Another upgrade is the handle control that looks similar to the Vertex Pro cordless, with a screen above the three-button interface. This upgrade provides more options to consumers with setting brush roll and power settings. The reconfigured switches don't require users to squeeze it continually to access the max setting, another plus for usability. There isn't much variance with airflow compared to the Ion P50 at the one, maxing at a little over 48 CFM, only two more than a previous model. Strangely, with the dual clean nozzle, the Vertex Pro powered liftaway has less airflow, only up to 21 CFM at the max setting. Several factors hampering its airflow are the fins and larger bristle footprint. It's one reason why the Vertex Pro powered liftaway isn't as good as cleaning heavier debris like sand in the lower setting. You'll need to switch to the max setting, at least in the closing passes, to carry dirt from the brush roll to the dustbin. If not, it stays in this area before the dustbin, which brings me to the things I like. The biggest thing I like is the extra-large dustbin capacity. Shark rates it at 1.35 quarts, equivalent to 1.48 liters, which is a lot for a cordless vacuum. Even with 50 grams of debris, it barely filled the container. With the large dustbin capacity is the large opening on both sides. In addition to the trapdoor system, consumers can open it from the top, providing easier access to the filter and other components for cleaning. There were only slight leaks during the fog test, mostly from underneath the dustbin. For a cordless vacuum at this price point, it's excellent since other brands have worse leaks in a similar test. Even without a 100% seal, I'd consider it a plus because it didn't leak through any of the filters, which is a worst case scenario. The next thing I like is the reconfigured dual clean nozzle with more bristles shaped in a V pattern spanning the width of the roller. This tweak gives it more surface area, which is why it got a higher percentage as the older Ion P50 on carpet, even with the lower airflow at the nozzle. The fins and increased bristle count help it agitate carpets better, resulting in a 22% improvement in the deep cleaning experiment. It was also above average on hard floors with agitation improvement but the lower airflow hurts it in several tests, particularly with heavier debris like sand and pet litter. Another benefit of having fins is to improve hair tangle resistance combined with the combs above the brush. Compared to the Ion P50, the difference is night and day. I tested it on hair lengths between 5 and 12 inches, and it got high percentages, even with 9 inches and above strands. 
So this is a viable option for cleaning pet hair, factoring in the large dustbin capacity. One issue with cleaning hair is that long hair strands will either stick on the walls or wrap on this area on the trap door. It's not a shark issue, but a universal one present in other brands. Another thing I like is the extended runtime, maxing out at over 54 minutes at the nozzle, despite using the same capacity battery. Runtime in the middle and max setting is also decent, where it ran for over 33 and 12 minutes in carpet mode at the middle and max settings, respectively. I highlighted these figures because it's a setting you'll use often on this surface. I'm guessing the newer model has a more energy-dense battery, thus a longer runtime. Unfortunately, it only comes with one battery, so getting an extra will be an added expense. The new handle control is more refined with a battery percentage indicator above the three-button interface. Its biggest benefit is not having to continually squeeze the max button, which was the case with the Ion P50 thanks to the reconfigured power switch. Lastly is the lift-away feature, enabling this vacuum to reach deep under furniture. The lift-away feature permits consumers to remove the dustbin and motor from the frame, freeing it up from the excess bulk to fit in tighter spaces. In lift-away mode, it's possible to clean underneath furniture like this sofa or bed without moving them, which is a time saver. One annoying issue with a dual-clean nozzle, even with the older versions, is the noise. And it's the same with the Vertex Pro powered lift-away. It's particularly noisy in the carpet setting at over 78 decibels. The good news is it isn't as noisy as a Vertex Pro cordless, which nearly breached 90 decibels. The next con with the nozzle is its sheer bulk. Since it has two brush rolls, it needs a bulkier frame to house the two brushes and motor. And this bulkiness affects steering and its ability to reach tighter spots though the power lift away feature helps it vacuum underneath furniture. Some notes about this product before I end the review. I've read reviews about this product requiring much maintenance, especially cleaning the two filters. Here's the foam filter after all the cleaning tests, and I did a lot. It didn't look dirty at all, maybe because of its location outside the dustbin. Another thing to note is that only the soft roller brush is detachable, but not the second brush, so it may affect how often you'll need to clean it. You may need to clean it more often, which isn't a deal breaker, but an FYI to would-be owners. Lastly, don't hesitate to use it above floors, even with the below average airflow. I've tested it on light debris and it did not disappoint, offering excellent pickup. If you've made it this far, I'd like to thank you and consider giving this video a thumbs up if it's been helpful. It goes a long way in growing this channel and reaching more consumers. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I publish new reviews like this and I have a bunch lined up. Links are in the description below for more information about the Shark Vertex Pro Power Drift Away, including the detailed review on my blog. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.